Hello, my name is Wendy Myers. Welcome to the Supercharged Podcast. Today we have a fantastic guest, Debbie Ventura. She is a bioenergetic practitioner and she's a, a master Ness practitioner and trainer. And she's going to be talking to us today about what exactly is Ness Health. It's a bioenergetic program and why you need to clear energy blockages from your body to reverse and prevent disease, how emotional trauma causes disease and how to clear it, and a revolutionary PEMF device called a My Health to stop pain and enhance healing. So many interesting topics on the show today. This is a fantastic show that I know you're going to enjoy so much. Debbie, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast. You're welcome. Thank you for having me, Wendy. Why don't you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and your background? So I I was training as a classical homeopath when I found Ness Health. And, and prior to that, I worked in the legal technology field for about 25 years. I was a, a systems administrator. And so I had a big job uh, that was stressful and sort of led me into my own health journey, which is how I learned about energy medicine in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so so tell people what is Ness. So the listeners can learn, learn more at nesshealth.com. That gives some information, videos, and there's info on YouTube. But it's a kind of challenging for people to get their head around it, and it's a a protocol I've been doing for several months. And I I did the training with you. You were one of the instructors, and yes. I am just completely blown away by my own results and every person that I've introduced it to their results and how quick that they can be. And I, I literally wake up every morning with joy <laughs> and I really never experienced that. I've had wow. a, a handful of times, you know, I've woken up, Oh, it's going to be a great day, you know, but it was yeah. fleeting and yes. uh, you know, I'm sleeping better. I was really having a lot of trouble sleeping, even though I was taking all kinds of supplements and yeah. been kind of perplexed and struggling with that. And my back pain went away that I've been pretty much dealing with in one form or another in my lower back for eight years. Wow. It was gone in three weeks. And that's, that's really profound for me and shocking. And so for me, I, I cannot express how much or how excited I am to get the word out about Ness. So tell us what exactly is Ness Health? Cool. Um, I love, I'm so glad you've had those profound experiences. It's, uh, it's a beautiful testament to the, the capacity of Ness. So Ness is really, it's a revolutionary 21st, 21st century technology that allows us to see and interact with the body's energetic fields and, um, and then make uh, corrections in the most optimal way. So, and it allows the innate intelligence of your body field to come through. And, and that's really, that's really what's so amazing about Ness is that it, it gives a voice to the body field. And um, does that make sense? Yeah. So tell the <laughs> listeners, what is the body field and how is information trans transmitted to the body? And like, how does that contraindicate what modern medicine is doing? Right. So, so the body field, the, the, I think the, an easy analogy is it's sort of like a scaffolding. So, so we have a collection of fields and I guess I should step back a little bit and just, just say that, you know, science, science is evolving at this really incredible pace. And it's really a fun and incredible time to be on the planet because we are, we are learning things about science that, that are changing the way we understand biology and how our bodies work and how, how things operate from a wellness perspective. And so what we're learning at the quantum level, and I don't want that word to chase anybody off because really it's just, it's just a word that indicates we're talking about the smallest measure that we can contemplate about our existence. And so when we look at things at that level, you know, what, what we're learning is that, you know, even in the 20th century, when we talked about quantum mechanics and quantum physics, they were talking about, oh, we're waves and particles. Waves can be a particle too. And so that's sort of how they explained matter, 
you know, how, how these bodies come into form is that, well, we, we're energy, but energy turns into a particle. And what we're starting to understand is that that's, that's, that's sort of a misnomer. We actually are purely waves of energy. You know, I'd like to tell my clients, if we could look at ourselves and each other through quantum goggles, what we would see are just um, waves and geometric patterns of energy emanating from the vacuum of space, condensing to form uh, the manifestation of our physical appearance. And so, so, so we have this, this big understanding, you know, at one time this was considered woo woo and, um, you know, fringe science, but, but it's all starting to coalesce into a very coherent understanding that we are pure energy fields. And so, and, and we're not random energy fields. And I think that's really where Ness has an amazing offering in the world is because Ness is based on an understanding that our energy fields are highly structured. And I like to think of them back to my scaffolding analogy. I like to think of our energy fields as as sort of this energetic, very highly structured scaffolding around which our matter forms. And our, and our minds form also, you know, the body mind complex can't be separated. It's all a holistic entity and, and they form around these energetic structures. And so what's important about that is, is when the energy fields are out of balance and that scaffolding becomes a little out of balance, ultimately that manifests into imbalances at the physical level. And so we look to Ness as a way of really working at that master control system of the energetic level. And when we make corrections energetically, uh, it provides, it provides, I like to think of it as um, alignment opportunities. So it's a, it's a new opportunity to align to a new structure that gives us more support. And, and from my perspective, Wendy, everything is about evolution we're always moving toward our potential to our highest growth. And, uh, and that's really what Ness is able to do. It helps us move into our highest potential. What I got from the training when I did the training was it kind of blew my paradigm of how the body works where in modern medicine and in functional diagnostic medicine and a lot of the modality modalities I was trained in, you think of the body as strictly being ruled by hormones and enzymes and things of that nature. And, and it is, but there's a lot of things not controlled. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things that modern medicine can't explain, a lot of phenomena in the body that modern medicine cannot explain or account for. And that, that, that puzzle or that hole is filled in with Ness when you think of the brain and the heart sending information to the cells and to the body with information on energy waves. And that's the way that the the body is giving instructions to the cells. And it's just uh, completely mind blowing to think of this and how Ness proved this with quantum physics. Yes. And so this is a scientifically proven modality. It's not a woo woo thing right. like a massage therapist with a, a salt crystal lamp or something you know what I mean <laughs> and working yes. with crystals it's it, it's amazing so you know I was reading the book it's a book called decoding the human body field by Harry Massey and Peter Frazier and they had a ghost writer helping them out with the you know intense information in the book that talks a lot about quantum physics and how that works and then how Ness Health uses quantum physics to heal the body. And it's just it's just mind blowing how Peter Frazier came up with this. Can you talk a little bit about how Peter Frazier came up with Ness? Yeah, I can. So Peter Peter was a really interesting person and his work started many decades ago. He was a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine living in Australia. And um, I think he studied every healing modality on the planet. He was incredibly versed in all things energetic and biochemical. And as a doctor of Chinese medicine, what he really wanted to understand, he had this very brilliant scientific mind, and he really wanted to understand, okay, we have 5,000 years of anecdotal information about how Chinese medicine works, but from a physics perspective, from a contemporary physics perspective, what's really happening in the Chinese meridian system? And that was sort of his goal, and that's what he set out to understand. He didn't set out to start a 
a wellness revolution or a system or anything. He just wanted information. And so what he started doing is, is um, he called them matching tests. And he was, he was basically looking at energetic signatures of different aspects of our anatomy uh, and how they fit together energetically, how, what, what things talked to what, where he found resonant uh, compatibility or resonant harmonies. And, um, and over time, he amassed an incredible library of data that showed all of these very intricate relationships between uh, the energy fields that are that emanate from our cells, organs, tissues, emotional states, and how the body actually fits together in the in the presence of those energy fields. And um, so that was that was the beginning. And and then out of that research, he ended up developing what we today call infoceuticals, which look like this. And they are basically water with minerals in them. They're <laughs> completely, completely biochemically benign. Um, but they go through a proprietary imprinting process where information matching different parts of the body field uh, are imprinted into the liquid structure, mineral structure of the infoceutical. And when you, it sort of acts like a CD or a tape player. And so when you take them, touch your little drops in water every day and drink them, it, it plays back that information in the field. Mm -hmm. And so his prototypical infoceuticals uh, that he started out with way back, I would say it was probably around 2000. He was just starting to develop these formulations. And about that time, uh, a young man who was really chronically ill named Harry Massey uh, had been bedridden for about seven years of his young life, extremely ill with chronic fatigue and other things, um, was doing his own research and, and had come to the conclusion that if I'm ever going to get well, it's going to be through energy, energy mm -hmm. medicine. And so he was on this quest to find the, the smartest, best people doing energy work on the planet. And kind of from his bed, which was an amazing feat. But he ended up uh, in Los Angeles with some friends and met Peter Frazier and took the very first prototypical infoceutical that Peter had developed and immediately had a healing reaction, which, you know, is a good thing. We we're, we get excited in the energy world when you have symptoms. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, uh, and that's what's the same as detox. And you start detox yes. and stuff comes up and out and it's not always so pleasant. But it's right. a necessary part of the process. Yes, and we're generally really glad when that's happening. And and so he immediately got this healing reaction. And you know, he, Harry had I I think Harry had literally tried everything there was to try, and and with with great vigor. I mean, all the energy he had to muster, he would put into the modalities that he tried, and nothing ever really helped. And when he started taking the infoceuticals, the beginning of the infoceuticals, he knew that this was something drastically different. And it was the beginning of his healing. And, um, and so this was the beginning of this amazing collaboration between these two people, uh, Peter Fraser, who had all of this incredible scientific information about how our energy fields are structured, and Harry Massey, who had this really keen technological mind. And, um, and sort of this entrepreneurial drive to create a wellness system that could heal people. And, and that also had an element of, of being able to use it in a remote fashion so that people who were really sick and couldn't leave their home to go visit a practitioner could actually work with a practitioner from wherever they were. That was really his dream and goal in life. And together they accomplished that. It was really quite an amazing feat. Yeah, and it's amazing to me how with Peter Frazier being a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, he didn't set out to do this, but he proved the Chinese meridians with quantum physics. And yes. that's what he was doing with all his matching experience. And he noticed that whatever the kidneys match the same resonance as the, the retina and the eyeballs. And yes. he took it to the next level. He, he took, he took the Chinese meridians and refined them even further, which was just amazing. And, and they're, they're true when you have the, can you explain a little bit about the Chinese meridians and how they're information highways and when there's blockages then physiological problems can result sure sure um so there there are just uh energy channels through the body that connect our organ systems and uh you know we talk about it i love what you said an in information highway that's a beautiful analogy because really information flows through the system and when everything is talking and everybody's in resonance we feel good 
that's that's peace and that's uh, uh, wellness. And when energetic, uh, I guess you could call them blockages, or when when energy is changed in some way so that information doesn't flow in the optimal uh, pathway or in, in the yeah, I guess that's the best way to say it. In the optimal pathway, um, things start to break down and, and things start to misfire. So I, I, kind of using your analogy about a roadway, it's sort of like your daily commute. You know, you go to work the same same way every day. Uh, you get to work at the same time and everything's fine. You have your coffee at the same time of day. And then one day you leave your house and you get down to your stop sign and you realize that there's a detour. There's road construction and you have to go some way you've never gone before. And it takes you two hours longer. You lose a hubcap. You might have a flat on the way. You still get to work, but you've suffered some damage. You've sustained some damage, you know, and our bodies sort of work the same way. When, uh, when the energy is blocked or not flowing correctly, then you end up with um, places where information is not getting through in the most, in the best way. Yeah, and it I might be was, scrambled. Yeah, and I yeah. thought it was really, really interesting. So when I did my scan, a lot of my known issues came up, like my thyroid came up, and um, I was having had been having pains in my appendix area, and that came up. I was having pains in my lower back, and that came up. So all, you know, it's not always the case, but you know, the Nest Health scan that you do will see your energy blockages, but many times people also have physiological health issues and malfunctions or diseases at those various spots. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and you know, and I tend to, when I do a scan, um, I tend to see high readings and we, we kind of focus in when we do a scan, we look at the highest priorities in the field. And those are the places where we see uh, sort of the optimal place to make a correction, an energetic correction. But I tend to interpret those high readings as places in the body field where, where really – if we make a change there, we're supporting growth at the highest level. So it's sort of like, you know, this evolutionary drive, we're always moving into our highest potential, our, our, our most optimal place of growth. I'm using that word a lot, but that's kind of what Nest does is it optimizes things. Um, but, but I tend to see high priorities in a scan as places where if we make a correction here, we're supporting the organism in the most fundamental way and in the most efficient way. You know, I love that we work with the body field's innate intelligence. You know, we're incredibly intelligent beings. You know, we're self-regulating. Uh, we are self-healing. We're self-regenerating. And we just need energy and information to make sure that that's all happening in the right order at the right time. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, I find it really interesting. There's a lot of energy medicine tools out there. And I've kind of dabbled a little bit in some like the Zyto scan and mm -hmm. other things like that. But there's, yeah. you know, an acupuncture works with the meridians and things like that. But the problem is they don't pinpoint likeness exactly in your body where there's an energy blockage. And it's kind yes. of like flying blind. Yes. Where it's hard to fix something if you don't have a roadmap, like a, I don't want to say a diagnosis, like a medical doctor, they can diagnose something, they know what they're working with. Uh, Nest does not diagnose anything, but right. it's, uh, they, it can tell where those energy blockages are so you know exactly where you need to focus your, the infoceuticals and energy medicine there. Yes, exactly. It, you know, it's, to my knowledge, it's really the only thing that works truly at the field level. You know, Zyto and um, electrodermal screening and other types of uh, energetic modalities tend to work at sort of the electromagnetic field level, where we're really looking at the electric current and how it moves through the body and organ systems, and we're looking at impedance where things get stuck at that level. Um, Ness is sort of a deeper dive into the into the body field. It's a deeper dive into the field system and how those fields really interact. Mm -hmm. So so you get um, you get much more specificity, and and I think too that speaks to the brilliance of Peter Fraser's w lifetime of work, is that we have this incredible incredibly detailed mapping of our field structure that nobody else has. Uh, it's it's 
it really is revolutionary when you when you are able to see the body and body field from that perspective. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, and say you go to an acupuncturist and you say, "Oh, my thyroid, there's a problem with my thyroid." Maybe you've had that pre-diagnosed by a medical doctor. And right. and I've been there. I've done it. I've done little the, all the needles for the thyroid. But the problem is that you may be having a problem in a different area of your body and that's causing a thyroid issue and Yes. The beauty of Ness is there's a certain order in which you have to correct things before you get to the thyroid. Yes. Can you talk <laughs> a little about that, how you just don't go and attack the thyroid and try to right. manipulate it? It's it's a bigger picture. It is a that. bigger picture. Yes. Yeah. So when you're, you know, when we we have the benefit of working at the field level where again, we're relying on the innate intelligence of the body field to say, this is where I need support now. So thyroid's a great example. So, you know, if you've got thyroid issues, you know, that's the regulating gland of all of the systems in the body. Right. And so, um, that organ is affected by a lot of things. It's affected by environmental toxins. It's affected by stress, the way, you know, whether or not we're moving in fight, out of fight or flight mode and all of that stuff. Um, so, so when we do a nest scan, let's say that, let's say that you're hypothyroid, which a lot of people are in our world today. Um, your thyroid may come up like yours did in the scan, but often what we see are sort of the higher field corrections that need to be made so that we can um, mitigate environmental damage and uh, in the body field. And also, um, you know, we, because we have mind elements, you know, I've kind of danced around this a little bit, but there, we can also see sort of how conflict and trauma are affecting our field. And so that's a big deal. You know, when we are working energetically, it's really important that we understand that there is a, there's a connection to our emotional state always and how we are manifesting in the world. So that is also part of the structure of Ness and where we focus at a really high level in the field. And the other thing that's, I'm glad you, I'm, thank you for bringing that up because the other cool thing about Ness that's not totally apparent until you dive in or go to training is that there is this this incredible connection that Peter Fraser found to embryology, to the way we develop and the way we heal. So in Ness, for instance, we have 12 energetic, 16 energetic drivers that relate to different aspects of our organ systems and how they how well they're powered up. Those drivers are in a very specific order in the Ness system. They start with source energy, which relates embryologically to the source energy that forms when we are conceived from our parents. So it carries a, a charge, sort of an ancestral charge. That's where in homeopathy, we call it miasms. In, uh, you know, in the regular world, we call that genealogy or, you know, what's happening at the, at the genetic level. And, um, and then the next thing that happens embryologically in the formation of the, of the embryo is at about 40 days, the heart starts pumping. And we know from a nest perspective that what's happening are those little cardiac cells that are starting to form are actually creating an electromagnetic field. And as with each beat of those cells, they're actually going out into the field and bringing information back about how this organism is supposed to develop. You know, and then cell driver is our next driver field, and that relates to the formation of all the cells that start to happen. So we see that throughout nest, these beautiful connections to how we develop and how we heal. And when we honor that structure um, from a therapeutic perspective, we get really great results that last, which is yeah. what you've started to experience. Yeah. And it's so interesting. And I'm going to say it's so interesting like 800 times from this podcast, but it's so interesting that, you know, you have to heal in that order with the, the source energy and then the heart and then the cells and then on and on and on with how embryonically the organ systems develop and say if your problem is the very last thing to develop in the fetus you have to address these things up here before you can get to this and that's the brilliance i don't know how peter fraser figured this out but it doesn't know brilliance. divinely inspired <laughs> yeah I think he definitely had a digital download for sure but you know that's amazing how that's how you have to heal you have to heal in a certain order and yes. that's where the concept a lot of people are missing in healing is oh going after the thyroid i have a thyroid issue or going yes. after 
uh, another aspect and focusing in on that. And that's why it doesn't work. And that's why people right. are so frustrated doing all these things and they just don't work well. And I personally was at that point myself where I was personally frustrated. I was yeah. professionally frustrated with uh, my own results. Uh, you know, I, I've been working on my health for quite some time, eating an amazing diet, exercising, taking care of myself, going to bed at 9.30, 9, 9.30, taking amazing supplements, detoxing, and yeah. I had taken my health to a huge level. Like I was yeah. here, but I knew instinctively I wanted to be here. Yeah. The, the like, how do I get from here to here? And Ness gave me that answer. And I had the same problem with my clients. I knew I could help them in a huge way, but many of my clients coming to me, they're too sick to detox. Some yes. of them can't even take supplements. How do you help those people? Some people that are so far gone and have just been seeking out so many different modalities that weren't working and just, they just arrived at the game a little too late, you know, yeah. for modern yeah. medicine or even a lot of natural healthcare practitioners. And Ness provides that answer for them. Yes. Yes. When you are really sick, you're energetically depleted and information is not moving through your hologram. <laughs> And so, you know, just by restoring uh, the, the capacity for information to move through the field, that in and of itself um, can then open up pathways so that you, you have more energy to deal with, you know, and we can power up your organ systems and we can connect you back to the earth and, and you know, all of those things and, and also clear trauma and help clear, you know, conflict and trauma at the emotional level and all of those things together you're right. It's, it's been the missing piece. It's been the missing piece of, of wellness. Yes. I totally agree. And that's what also I love about it is the addressing of emotional trauma, shock, abuse, and all those things that most people have experienced in their life. And another reason why I was a little bit frustrated with my own program and uh, things I was doing with my own health is the only thing I could really offer people is try meditation do meditation yeah. it's kind of an emotional yes. detox works great yes but great. you know there's more to it than that and we know that yeah, can you talk a little bit about how shock and trauma cause disease in the body sure yeah that's a that's a huge subject and we should probably just have a talk one day just about that because it's fascinating um, and I really do believe it's it's sort of the root cause um, of, of all things that we experience from an unwellness perspective. But, you know, basically, um, let's see, where can I start? That's a, that's a good starting place for that. Um, whenever we, whenever we encounter a situation for which we are emotionally unprepared, you know, it happens often for children because we don't have life experience. And so something occurs in our lives. So that's, that's where we get the, uh, that early onset trauma, but it happens all through our lives. You know, nobody's spared. That's we, we all encounter situations for which we are unprepared emotionally. And when we do, a lot of things happen in our bodies. For one, um, we go into sort of a, a fight or flight mode. So we go into this conflict active phase where our bodies have to deal with the stress of this conflict. And the, the entire impetus in that moment is to survive and resolve the conflict. That's, that's the whole goal at that point. And so, um, so when we are in this conflict active state of something has happened to us, I don't know really how to deal with it, and I've, it's got to resolve. Either I'm going to die or somebody else is going to die. I mean, that's really at the kind of the fundamental uh, basis of all conflict. It's kind of a life or death thing. And so um, even if it even if the situation isn't truly life or death at some point, that's kind of how we interpret it. But basically, when we are in this conflict active state, our bodies kind of go into shutting down non-essential processes, shutting down digestion, shutting down reproduction. And that's not just our reproductive organs. That's our, our body's ability to regenerate 
and to reproduce at the cellular level, you know, which needs to happen all the time. But that all kind of goes on hold while we're conflict active, trying to resolve an issue. And as soon as that, as soon as that issue is resolved, we then move into sort of this healing phase where the body then has to repair the damage that was done in the conflict active state. So I can give you a, a really simple story. About two years ago, I was in Australia. I was, uh, it was five o'clock in the morning. We were about to get on a plane to come home. We're waiting on the taxi. I'm carrying my sister's gigantic suitcase down a flight of stairs and um, and I slipped I had on flip-flops like an idiot and I slipped on the steps and I twisted my foot and broke it completely in half um, falling down the stairs oh. and uh, I had this complete non-union fracture in my foot and I had 20 hours of travel ahead of me and so I got my tennis shoe on thank god I had my my health device which we haven't talked about yet but um, I traveled for 20 hours and schlepped a broken foot around through five different airports and, you know, two continents. And um, when I got home, I collapsed in bed, went to uh, an emergency care center the next day. Sure enough, my foot was mangled and needed surgery drastically. But I, what happened for me is that as soon as I, as soon as I got back from the doctor and fell back into bed, When I woke up eight hours later, I had the worst case of bronchitis I have ever had in my life. And I haven't had many cases of bronchitis, so it was a very odd thing for me to have. But what I realized immediately is that for those 20 hours of schlepping my broken foot around and trying to get through the airports and all of the trauma that was, you know, kind of piled on top of having a broken bone, um, my body was in conflict active mode that whole time and it was it was trying to survive it was trying to really pump a lot of oxygen into my body so that i could schlep this poor broken foot through all these security scans and all of that stuff and i think on some level too there was a death fright i was afraid that i might never ever get home you know i didn't know what was going to happen and when i finally did my body had to repair the the bronchi so what had happened was during that kind of conflict the bronchi in my lungs actually um it act they actually ulcerated so that there was more or actually what happens is they open up so that there's more air capacity in the bronchi right so that there's more air available to the body yeah it's a, that's a stru- as, classic stress response yeah. yes exactly and so then you know the bronchitis was the ulceration of the tissue healing itself and that lasted for exactly it lasted for about 72 hours, which is about the time that it took me to get home, get diagnosed and all of that stuff. So my regenerative healing phase was pretty much in the same measure as my conflict active phase. And that's an important thing to understand about, about how conflict affects us because in our world today, you know, we tend to stay in stressful situations long, way longer than we should. You know, and and what happens is it's just taking this enormous toll on the body. And then when we finally do resolve the conflict, when we retire (laughs) because our jobs have been stressful for 35 years or whatever, you know, when we finally do, we've got a long healing journey ahead of us, you know, and I think that that's um, that's an important part to understand because it's really important that we get out of stressful situations as as quickly as possible. We need to recognize them and, and move through them and heal them. Um, and that's one of the beautiful things about Nest too, is that it helps us in that regenerative healing phase. It helps speed up that process so that we don't have to spend 35 years regenerating. We can realign our energy fields in a very efficient way so that our bodies can come into balance in a much, much faster pace than they would just left to their own devices. And so it's, that's, yeah. Yeah, it's really mind blowing to me how, you know, Ness helps to regenerate physically and emotionally. And that's so important, especially for a lot of our female listeners are very, you know, they want to heal themselves emotionally. Yeah, of yes. course, I have male clients too. I don't want to leave you guys out, but women are obviously more interested in that. And we know that in, even in the research, Nikki Grotrix was on the podcast a while ago yes. showing how in the research that adverse childhood events, ACEs, 
cause disease later in life. These people yeah. have more disease, more uh, health issues, more mental health issues uh, in a significant uh, more amount than people who don't have as much trauma in their lives. Yes. And yes. so it's, it's proven in the literature and the research that this does happen. And Ness provides a way to profoundly heal yourself, say, without going to 10 day silent meditation retreats, <laughs> which that to me would be pretty yes. much suicide. <laughs> Not, no talking for 10 days. So yes. I prefer taking antithetical water drops. Uh, yeah. Much prefer that. And for me, like with my own, my own traumas that I've had in my life, I was in a very, uh, my last husband's very stressful relationship, uh, uh, you know, verbally abusive and and a very angry person or turned into an angry person um he hit it pretty well in the beginning and it's it's difficult to be around a person like that or you got a friend like that or you had an ex, sure. ex like that and you're around that energy and it you can't help but absorb it and internalize it and yes. then project it to a certain degree and yes and i always thought how am i going to purge this you know, how am I, how do I get yeah. rid of this? I, I kind of didn't really know how it's doing meditation. And I knew deep down, it just wasn't quite, you know, purging, you know, or yes. I want to like get it out of me. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Well, yeah, with it's, sort Ness, of like, it's coming out, you know? Yes. Yes. It's sort of like conflict. You can kind of think about a, a, a particular event or let's say a relationship that you were in for a period of time. It actually creates sort of a standing wave in your field that is creating, sending out, you know, when you throw a rock into a pond, you get these ripple effects. It's sort of the same thing with the conflict. You get these ripple effects in your field. And until that, until that energetic uh, block or event is cleared at that level, it's going to continue to ripple. It's going to continue to create interference patterns in the rest of the field, which that's where your body's going to build itself around is that conflict. Yes. So. Yeah. And heart math uh, has, has shown this in uh, the CEO of or founder of heart math was in Harry Massey's film, the living matrix, which expel, it explains energy medicine really nicely, yes. highly recommended film. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn more about this and with heart math, they're showing that our heart sends out this energy field or this wave that's 10 feet around us. So that's why when you're around happy people, you feel more happy. Yes. Or you're around negative people. You're just like, ugh. you know, you just, you're, you feel it and it affects yes. you. That's why I try not to hang around negative people ever anymore because I, I just don't want to be impacted by sure. that. Sure. You know? Sure. Sure. Well, I heard someone say recently that happy people don't get sick which I thought was a really interesting comment. And, and, you know, Bruce Lipton, the incredible cell biologist, has written a book about that called The Honeymoon Effect. And it's all about how, how you're, you know, I mean, he talks a lot about how your environment shapes how your cells function. It's epigenetics, right? Um, but but it's, it, it, there is something profound about um, happiness and wellness. They kind of go together. And when we are in a place of not being happy, we generally are not well. And, you know, there's sort of this chicken and egg thing that happens. <laughs> Do we get sick first? And now we're not happy because of that. Generally, I think it's more about what's happening emotionally that starts the process. So, yes, when we can clear those traumas out of the energy fields, amazing things happen. Yeah, it's in incredible. my first scan, a, a, a trauma point came up. I thought, oh, great, we're going to clear that up. <laughs> Clean that right up with a, yes. a chimney sweep, you know. But, yes. but let's talk about the software that Harry Massey helped to design. So he took Peter Fraser's work. Mm -hmm. and I don't know how he did it. He's just a, a genius, a brilliant guy, and systematized it and put it into a software so that we yes. can measure the human body field and the energy blockages. Yes. Can you talk about that? Sure, yeah. So the software, it's this amazingly elegant software solution. And and so when you do a Nest scan, basically there are a series of screens that come up that show different facets of your body field. And so for instance, um, we look at 
one of the first things we look at is how well the body field is aligned with the Earth's big fields. As Earthlings, we have to be connected properly to the Earth to feel well and stay well and get well. And so we look at we look at your connection to the Earth. We look at your uh, the state of your polarity, how well you're holding an electrostatic charge. It's important for the flow of information. So we look at really high. Uh, sort of high level elements of the field and how you are connected to your big environment. We also have a, we have a screen where we look at the energetic drivers, which we were talking about a little while ago. These are, these relate to the organ systems and how well they're powered up. So we can get a really beautiful, quick visual of where I'm, where I'm carrying stress and, and how it's affecting my organ systems on an energetic level. We also look at the flow of information. We've talked about that for the last, many minutes. Um, we can see that we can actually see the pathways, the energetic pathways through the field and how they relate to our anatomy and, and where things might be stuck or where we can make a correction. That's going to give us the most, um, the most opportunity for growth in that moment. We also look at immunity and metabolic processes from an energetic perspective. Those are two other places that we look at in the software. They're, they're also very profound, um, that we can see that level of detail in the field. We, and then, of course, we've been talking about the mind. We have what we call the brain holograms, which are just beautiful ways of, of getting a, a visual awareness of where we're holding stress emotionally in our bodies. And, um, and then we, we have some other really interesting things in this. We can look at how well you're energetically navigating your environment. So, you know, we're exposed to like 60,000 chemicals a day or something in our environment. And they're really hard on us energetically. There are, there are a handful of those that are really damaging to our energy fields, like electromagnetic frequencies, cell phones, uh, nuclear radiation. Um, and so we have, we have ways of, of kind of measuring how well are you navigating those things in your environment? How sensitive are you to those things in your environment? And where can we make corrections to help support you environmentally? Um, we can also see an energetic snapshot of nutrition, which is really interesting, especially for people who are interested in nutrition. Um, it's just a way of understanding how things are being regulated from an energetic perspective. It's not functional levels or lab tests or anything like that. But from an energetic perspective, we're able to see Oh, this is this is what's going on with the body from a regulatory perspective as it relates to nutrition. I thought it was that? interesting. I use that word interesting again. That you know you can look at a lot of different minerals and nutrients in the body and see how well your body is able to utilize that. It's not not telling yes. the levels in your body, right? But your utilization of that. And for me, my iron came up, and I've always mm. I've always, I always crave red meat, red meat, red meat, red meat, because my body. It's just craving more and more and more iron because it's just not able to utilize it quite right. Yeah. And I thought yeah. that was incredibly interesting. And and then, you know, when you talk about the one of the scans shows how well uh, your body's magnetism is mm -hmm. aligned with the Earth. Yes. We've all heard of grounding and yes. how it's important to, you know, protect yourself from EMF. Well, guess what? A lot of people aren't able to do that. You know, right. for various reasons. Yeah, I've got like a little cell phone. I've got a, a pad under my computer. and Yeah. But I'm not going to stop using my computer. I can't. And if I want to no, get all right. you guys healthy, I have to just <laughs> suck it up and get exposed to these computers <laughs> and my cell phone. And, um, you know, on my computer, I've got five computers in my house. I'm doomed. Right. And then in Los, I live in Los Angeles. There's 450 yes. cell phone towers within a four mile radius. So short yeah. of moving to Kauai, you know, yeah. I just have to deal. And, yes. and those yes. things affect our energetic body field and they affect they our, our cells, electromagnetism. And that's why I wasn't sleeping. And for me, I was like hearing the angels sing because <laughs> I'm finally <laughs> sleeping really, really well. I mean, I lived at the beach for a while and I slept really well because I was walking on the sand every sure. day. And, and sure. this is very calming environment. So Grounding. yeah, it's not good. But come back here. Uh, I have a home in East Los Angeles. You know, doom and gloom, EMF everywhere, and I yes. just I wasn't sleeping good. And the the doing the Nest program within thirty, not really within a couple of weeks. Boom! Yeah. I, my head hits the pillow, and I'm just out. And I couldn't be more thankful for that because I know 
everyone yeah. listening, most people really struggle with sleep. And yes. they're not, you know, for me, I had, you know, my supplements work really, yeah. really well for a yeah. while. But I still, I wasn't getting that quality, restful sleep, that dreaming, vivid yes. dreams every night. That are yes. an indication of really good quality, restorative sleep and emotional, yes. pr emotional purging. And yes. so that's, that's really key. And I love that Ness works on that first to get you sleeping so your body can heal. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a measure of the circadian rhythm in the body and how well you're moving from sympathetic to parasympathetic dominance that from that fight and flight mode of the daytime to the uh, rest and digest nighttime mode, you know, so that we can, we can work on that too. And, you know, I don't know if you used your, my health for EMF, but the beautiful thing about Ness is that we have, we have ways, especially with EMF, which is so pervasive in our world. It's really, like you said, it's really hard to get away from. And most people are adversely affected whether they know it or not. Um, but we have, we have a lot of things we can do. First of all, just by working on your highest priorities and strengthening your field overall, you become less susceptible to the things in your environment that are detrimental energetically, especially EMF. But we actually have an EMF infoceutical that corrects specific areas of the information pathways. One of the things that happens with EMF is that it blocks the flow of information, it sort of scrambles our channels, you know. And so we have an infoceutical that sort of corrects the very specific parts of the pathways that can be damaged by EMF. And then the, the My Health device, which is this really amazing tool that Ness has as part of its total wellness system, which can be used on or off body. It's, uh, it, it basically puts information back into the field. And, um, and we have some really fantastic protection functions, which I don't know if you're using those, but they're really great for EMF. I so. am. I just went to Texas to my mom's ranch and I, uh, on the plane, there's a setting for air travel oh. and I put that on myself and then I put it on winter for a little while, my daughter, and it protects you from all the radiation and all the EMFs and stuff that you get while you're flying. And a lot of people that yes. travel a lot, they're a mess simply because of yeah. the, the effects all that radiation and EMF have on their body from air travel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ness is, Ness is a, is a great travel tool <laughs> if yes. you're traveling for sure. But yes, it, it really does help with the EMF and, and the environmental toxins just by strengthening your field as, as your body field says it needs it just by working on those high priorities, you really get, um, a very strong field that is, uh, sort of innately protected from things in the environment, which is fantastic today. <laughs> yes. World. And so let's talk about the My Health. So it's a PEMF device. It's a pulse electromagnetic field device. And there's a lot of them yep. out there. Yep. But I've had people on the podcast before talking about them. And there's uh, typically you think of them as those whole body mats, you know, you lay on the mat, and press right. a button, you're on it for eight minutes. And right. A lot very, very helpful. Uh, amazing yeah. healing devices, scientifically proven. Yeah. But the My Health, it's a little handheld device, looks like maybe bigger than a cell phone. And it has, it, what is it? It's almost like a 100 settings or 150 settings. Yeah, it's almost, incredible. Yes. That are very yes. specific to target problem areas. And so, yes. can you talk about how we find those target areas and then address them with the My Health? Sure, sure. There's there's a couple of ways. So so one is with the scan. So the ProVision scan, um, it we actually have a screen that comes up in the very beginning of the scan that sort of aggregates the highest individual points throughout the scan for correction or for um, optimization. And that's when we bring the My Health in and that um, in those very specific areas. And and what the My Health actually contains, Wendy, is the the mathematical data sets that match parts of the field. So it's incredibly specific. So, um, so for instance, I'll give you an example. So my spouse is a high school basketball referee and he just started his season a couple of weeks ago and injured his big toe, you know, chasing around seventh grade girls. And so, um, <laughs> and he's got, you know, games ahead and he's totally freaking out. And so, um, Every night when he would come home from work or his games, I would do the My Health. And by the way, I only use it off body. You can use it on body, which is the 
the actual interacting with the nervous system, or you can use it off body, which is the way I used it in my practice. And I only used it off body, but I did um, a couple of functions that open up the field at the field level and at the cellular level. And then I did a function called acute balance, which is for acute pain because he was in pain. And that um, within two minutes, his pain was gone. And then I brought in a, a nerve function that just supports the energetic field of the nervous system to help calm it down so that he's not having nerve firings at the inner, you know, from an energetic perspective, that's really painful. And, um, and then I, we have a, we have points specifically for toes. And so I did the energetic rejuvenator point for his toe. And so putting together that little set of functions, um, last night he had a game, he had two games and the second one was a varsity game that went into double overtime and he came home and he was thrilled. He said, I didn't even hurt and I still don't hurt. He woke up this morning and still had no pain. So just, you know, that was a, like an eight minute little protocol that I did with the, my health that, you know, kind of kept him out of, out of super, super pain, super injury place. And um, so that's sort of how it works. You, you sort of build functions. There are two versions of this device. There's the client device that has very few pre-programmed functions, but it's designed to be used with the practitioner and the Nest scan. And your Nest practitioner can upload functions based on the scan that specifically support you in that time period. Um, and then there's the professional device, which is also available to consumers, which has all available functions on it. And it's, it's amazing. It's, I, I can't imagine not having this now that I've had it for several years. I, you probably feel the same way. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love it <laughs> so much. Because yeah. for me, I've got a little bit of a shoulder injury. And I've got, I had the lower back bulging disc. And, uh, you know, I'd been using all kinds of things going to... I mean, literally spending, I probably have spent forty to $50,000 at least in the last eight years or more. I used to go to physical therapy three times a week, sure. dealing with my back, hoping I could one day walk better. I, at one point, I couldn't oh walk gosh. for more than 10 minutes. And oh I was determined gosh. to get better and get my physical functioning back. Yes. And I, uh, you know... Using the My Health and doing the Nest Infoceuticals, you know, I take my My Health device and put it on the lumbar spine yep. part and just do that. And I, within three weeks, I mean, it was just gone. And yeah, I haven't had any pain since. And I'm just, I, it just completely blows my mind. Not to mention my, my shoulder. I've just always has bothered me, and really, the physical therapy never really worked. And yeah. I did an on-body thing where you are literally sending electricity um, into uh, that area. And it yep. even kind of sticks. Like it'll get stuck on a spot that is yep. problematic. So you just go go for it on that spot where it keeps sticking. Yes. And I, just no pain. It's just gone. It's, it's amazing. I did it on my aunt when I went back to Texas. I spent Thanksgiving at my aunt's house. She's had pain for two years nonstop in her hip. I did a 15 minute session with the my health on both sides of her hips. Yep. And she said this is the first time in two years I haven't had pain. I don't know how long it lasted. That's I told cool. her it's probably not gonna last forever. Because you know, you have to keep obviously it's not a miracle, you've got to keep doing sessions with it. Yeah. But she was pretty happy. <laughs> as I have well, been. yeah, and and that's that's the other way we use it in connection with the scan, but we can also use it for symptom support. This is exactly what you're talking about, and um, it's incredibly effective. And uh, and combined with an infoceutical protocol, which is clearing emotional blocks, you know, um, opening up pathways, restoring uh, energetic function in our organ systems and our and our cells um, together we really do see lasting, amazing, miraculous healing. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. used it on my, my friend of mine and she's got five degenerated discs in her uh, back. Obviously she's pain. constantly deals with pain. And yes. I did this technique on her called the, called the spinal scrub. Yep. Where you put it on a setting and you kind of go back and forth along the spine and keep going up and down and up and down on the spine. And it kept sticking on the areas where she had the five discs, the bulging and degenerated discs. And I, so I just kept working on those spots until it, you can tell it loosens up or it, yep. you know, it's, you know, working because it doesn't stick 
as much. Yes. You just kind of keep doing it until it's not sticking anymore. Right. And right. she just felt amazing. You know, she, we'd been walking too much. Uh, we'd been out, out and about yeah. doing stuff and the walking aggravates her. And she wasn't in pain the next day. Like normally she'd be in bed sure. in agony, having to take opioid pain medication. And she didn't have that because of that. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, uh, I had a, a really uh, interesting client. We had, it was early in our work together. He was, um, I think he was about 70 when we started, but he had had um, pain in his lumbar spine most of his life. And uh, after, after one of our sessions, he called me on a Saturday and said um, that he had had this profound emotional trauma that came up for him that he hadn't really thought about in, you know, 50 years. And it was, um, it was uh, around uh, a loss of a close family member that he just really had not dealt with. And, and just by, it was the infoceutical that deals with connective tissue and circulation. And, um, and it, neither of us were anticipating it, but what came up for him was an enormous emotional release. And, and his back pain went away. It was gone. That he had had for 50 years, the back pain was gone. And it was actually an injury and that had happened during the same time that he was having this emotional conflict. And so it was an incredible... I mean, I was driving while he was calling because I usually don't answer the phone when I drive, but this guy, I, why is he calling me, you know, this man? And um, it was important. And I, we were both weeping on the phone, you know, that, that he'd had this incredible, profound uh, transformation um, and, and pain that he had had for 50 years. just gone like that. Yeah, I, the smoke. you know, I, I don't always thought that my pain was a, a physical thing. Like I had the x-rays or whatever, the MRI that I had a bulging disc. And obviously you think, oh, it's a physical issue. It's a nervous system issue, pain signaling in the nervous sure. system. Which but, it is, all of those things. <laughs> yes. But I realized too that my back pain was due to an emotional trauma. I won't, I'm not going to discuss it, but sure. it was due to uh, something of that nature. And I had a realization when I was at the NESS uh, training um, hearing other people's stories, just story after story after story of their yeah. pain resolving after being on the nest. And I just had a realization as to why I was having my pain. And I was able to, I had released prior, but I had the realization that it was caused by an emotional trauma. And I think a lot of people that have pain, it's not what they think. That's it's, right. Yeah. That's right. There, there is an emotional connection. And, you know, one of the things that's really interesting when you start working energetically, there, there are mind-body connections to, to everything. You know, we have um, – it's uh, – uh, do you have time for a quick story, another yes, quick story? Yes, absolutely. We, <laughs> want, is, we uh, love stories. This, <laughs> this, was a, this is kind of a, a really great example. So I had a person come in. I was teaching a class, and I had a person come in, and she didn't want to tell me anything about herself. She just said, no, I just want to scan and see what comes up which happens a lot. So she sat down, we did a scan and um, she didn't really have any physical symptoms that, you know, she was just really curious about Ness and kind of low energy and just wanted to see. And I didn't really have any infoceuticals with me, but anyway, I, we did the scan and what came up for her was the pancreas driver. It's the field generated by the pancreas and it's an indication of sort of how much energy the pancreas has available to work with. And she was like, huh, that's interesting. I, you know, I don't know what that's about. And I said, well, you know, pancreas tends to hold trauma and shock um, around some element of fear, but, but a very special flavor of fear. It's fear flavored with disgust. So it's sort of like something has occurred that was really scary and it was just disgusting. And she, she looked at me and she was like, oh, my gosh, I really hardly can't believe that. And she didn't really want to talk about it. Um, but because it was uh, disgusting, <laughs> because it was disgusting, but, but what, but what had happened was, um, and she's actually given me permission to talk about the story because it was so profound for her. But, um, what had happened was she had just found out within, I, I think maybe f about four months prior to doing the scan. So she was still sort of conflict active and didn't really realize it, but she had just found out a few months prior that a, a very close colleague at her work um, had somebody she'd worked with for six years had been planting cameras under all the female uh, professors' desks, wow. 
and in the rooms where they changed into lab coats and lab clothes and stuff. And it was this incredibly, it was, it was just this horrible, disgusting thing for her, this incredible, she was totally frightened, you know, complete vulnerability, all of that stuff. And, um, and it manifested for her as a pan as something dealing with the energy fields of the pancreas. And so um, I did a little bit of work. I didn't have infoceuticals, so I did a little bit of work with the My Health over the pancreas. She got she had a huge healing reaction. She I saw her the next morning, and she was vomiting. She was really sick. Mm. But within I would say within 24 hours um, of all of that, the scan, the healing reaction, I saw her talking to someone and telling recounting the whole story, and it was the first time she'd ever been able to talk about it. At, fr from a detached perspective and she was so profoundly grateful she was like you know this is um this was the true healing that i was looking for and didn't really even know that i needed and um started an infoceutical protocol and everything resolved for her within a month and it was incredible and she moved on so that's a really great example of how we hold things in our in our bodies and we don't really know it you know yes. and, and and so it makes you wonder about things like diabetes right, that affect the pancreas, what's occurred in our lives. So, yeah. Yeah. And it, it, so let's talk about how long it takes to get results on our nest program and how long you should probably stay on a nest program. For me, I had results within a very short period of time, a couple of weeks and the pain resolved in three weeks. And then a lot of other stuff, emotional stuff started coming up and I had very quick results and and that's key for so many people because when you do a detox program, it takes forever. You know? yeah. It takes a really long time to start yes. feeling results. And yes. usually people don't, they feel worse and they're like, what are you doing to me? But <laughs> the same thing can happen with nuts too. But what I like about it, it's, it can be relatively quick results. So people will stick with it. It can be, you know, I generally, it's hard to it's hard to talk about generalities when you're talking about energy because we're all completely unique beings on the planet and we all have our own journeys um, and our own ways of learning and resolving things in our lives. So it's it's going to be different for everybody. But but fast results is not uncommon. You know, um, I would I, I I tend to see things shift. You know, for, for really chronic things, I tend to see big shifts happen around the fifth month. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happens there, but sometimes between the fourth and fifth month, we see big shifts. I usually tell people, you know, depending on what you're working with, if you've got chronic issues that you've been dealing with for a lot of years, you know, I would, I would tell you, you probably want to look at staying with it for at least six months. Mm -hmm. You know, stay in there, you know, six for if you were in my practice, that would be six months of protocols. So six protocols mm -hmm. of infoceuticals and work with the my health, and um, and in that time you're going to see a lot of changes. And um, you know, and there are some people that t that it does take longer. You know, and that's the reality of it. I don't want to give people a false idea that you know, oh, I'm going to do this and then I'm better in in two weeks. Um, while that does happen often, there are some people that it takes a really long time. I have a client that. Um, she has mast cell activation syndrome. She's highly reactive to everything in her environment and uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia where when she lays down or sits up, it feels like her heart's going to explode. And um, when I met her, we started working together in September and she's a remote client. I've never met her in person. We've only worked remotely. When I met her in September and started working with her, she had been bedridden for almost six years. Oh, wow. She, um, she literally could not get out of bed. And I'll never forget, it was at the, right after, I think it was the, no, it was her fifth session. It was her fifth session. We, we were always on Skype, and it was the first time that I'd seen her sitting up. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you're sitting up. And do you know that um, that was, let's see, five months into it, at the seventh month, she went on a road trip with her family for the first time in seven years and went on, on a vacation, you know, a week-long vacation with her yes, family. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, that was a seven, eight month journey. And she's, she's, you know, still working on her journey, but she's been sick for 20 years. You know, yeah. she's had, she's been dealing with a lot of really, really um, profound problems for a long time. So that we had the results that we did within such a short period of time, I was ecstatic. And so was she. 
<laughs> but don't people, even if say, they don't have these profound resolutions in their health right away, they will experience more energy. Yes. They will experience better sleep and these subtle things that people are looking for desperately. Yes. And that's what I love about Ness. It powers up your energy level. So you do start feeling changes within a relatively short period of time compared to a lot of natural protocols that, yes. that people use to heal their health. So that was really my only point. You know, yes. you can't expect any miracles in 30 days, right. but you can right. feel the changes. And when people feel that, I, I suspect they will continue. Yes, yes. And I think there's also this sort of sense of peace. I don't know if that's something that you sort of noticed as well. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I'm big on peace. <laughs> I really want peace in my life, you know, and um, t to me, peace is sort of a counter to stress. And, uh, and yeah, that's one of the big benefits of Ness is that you do feel this, this, um, this just very calm sense of peace which is nice. <laughs> I, I have experienced that myself. I feel like I have peace. I feel like I have joy and I have this profound sense of optimism because I know I'm going to resolve any remaining health or emotional issues that I have. I have the tool to be able to do that. And I have the tool to be able to offer my clients, your clients to be able to offer them that where they may not have any hope of uh, resolving yes. those any other way. Yes. Mm. Yes. I mean, you know, my, my client that had, has mast cell activation syndrome, she can't take supplements. She's, she, when I met her, she could only eat five foods. She was so highly reactive to her environment. So, so the infoceuticals provided a way for her to actually get support and she couldn't get anywhere else from anything else. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah and typically sure. a, like a functional medicine practitioner will give them phosphatidylcholine and, take uh, maybe some natural histamine blocker or some quercetin right. or something like that to try to reduce the histamine response. Yes. But you really yes. just, you, any kind of food sensitivities and asthma and autoimmune disease, you just have to heal the immune system. It just, yes. you know, it's just one common thread. The immune system isn't yes. responding properly. And Nest does a beautiful job of calming that immune system and getting it to stop reacting. And those things are, I know it's easily resolved. It's, yes, yes, which is huge. Yeah. <laughs> In my mind, it's it's incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Does, yes. Does so, uh, so let's talk about some practicalities. So, how often do you need to get a scan, and and, and just talk about that a little bit. Okay, sure. And, and I I do four week protocols generally. Um, if I have someone in a very acute acute state, like my mast cell activation person. Um, uh, I will do a two week protocol just because we're, we're, things are changing really fast and we need to stay with the moving energy. Um, but I typically do a four week protocol. That's pretty common for most nest practitioners. And, uh, and you get a collection of infoceuticals depending on what comes up as high priorities on your, in your scan. Um, I generally give anywhere from two to four infoceuticals on rare occasions. You'll walk out with six because you just need a lot of energetic support. Um, but that's kind of how it looks. And then I, some people come back, if they don't have their own My Health, they'll come back in once or twice during that four week period um, for just to work uh, the highest priority points in the scan, make sure things are unblocked and open and the field is accepting for all of the things that are coming to it from the infoceuticals. Um, and it's, it's really a pretty, it's pretty simple. You know, that's the other really beautiful thing about Ness is that it's simple. It's not, um, it's not some big, hard thing that you have to learn and comply with. You take your drops once a day. If you've got a My Health, you do that once a day or once a week. And that's pretty much it. You go on with your life. And you it's know? inexpensive too, which is key for so many people that uh -oh. they can't afford a, a lot of different supplements and protocols and infrared saunas and, and yes. appointments with functional medicine doctors. Because uh, a lot of the the hope that people can have is outside of the mainstream medical system. Yes. And it's very expensive. And many people yep. can't afford to do things beyond what their health insurance will provide, which we know is just Band-Aids. And, uh, yes. and we love our doctors. We need acute care and surgery and things like that sometimes and medication sometimes. But to yes. really get true healing, you have to address the root causes. And one of those root causes is 
distortions in the body's energy field. That's right. And so, right. so the, what you're saying is you have to do a scan once a month mm -hmm. and then do the infoceuticals. So do you have to ha use the My Health? And I know a lot of people are going to be thinking, do I have to have yeah, this My Health device? Yeah, you don't. Thank you for, for mentioning that. No, you don't have to have the My Health device. And, um, you can do everything with infoceuticals. Uh, the My Health device adds additional support. If you have pain in your body, you know, if your chronic pain uh, is, is sort of your deal, then I would consider doing a My Health because um, while the infoceuticals work at the energetic control, master control level, and, and your body starts to sort of heal and rebuild around the new energetic structure, um, of course, pain will diminish and symptoms will dissipate and all of those wonderful things. But if you're dealing with, with a lot of chronic pain, the My Health is really, really helpful for that. Yes. So, but, but you can, I, you know, I have, um, I have a lot of clients that don't have My Healths um, that only work with infoceuticals and they get fantastic results. Yeah. Well, I have a question I like to ask all of my guests. What do you think is the most pressing health issue in the world today? Stress, stress, stress as it, as it impedes our ability to, uh, you know, there is a, there's a connection between consciousness, our level of consciousness and our health and stress stress kind of keeps us from being highly aware and conscious of who we really are. It takes us out of the moment. It takes us out of our true nature. And, um, and to me, that's where, that's really where illness begins is at that stress point. And when we stay, um, conflict active in a stressful situation for a long period of time, there is no way you can get around being sick from that you just can't. And so to me, everything that we see as an illness is really a stress response. Um, I've dealt with, um, my own thyroid issues. I had, I was diagnosed with Graves disease many years ago and I still have my gland, which was a feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to keep I know it. the doctors always want to cut it out. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. Radiate. Yes. Um, but I kept my gland, thank God. But, um, but you know, that's, that's an endocrine issue. But I know now that it was 100% stress driven. It started because of stress and it was stress driven. And it wasn't until I resolved the stress and dealt with it and got it out of my energy field from a conflict perspective that that part of my body actually did heal. And that was actually with Ness. So um, that's, that's my take on the most pressing health issue on our planet is stress and, yeah. and, and that it cuts us off from our ability to be consciously aware of, of our true nature. Why don't you tell the listeners where they can find you and learn more about you and work with you? Cool. TuneYourVibe.com. <laughs> that's, um, that's my website. There's information about me and about my practice and some information about Ness and, um, and some of the interesting things that I come across in the world of, of new science. I tend to, tend to dump out there on my website. So TuneYourVibe.com. Um, I'm in San Antonio. I see clients in my office in San Antonio, Texas, but I work remotely with clients all over the world. So, um, so yeah. And I love talking about Ness. I do free short consultations if you're just interested and want to know more about it. And if it's for you, I'm happy to talk about it. It's my favorite thing to talk about. <laughs> Great. So, um, so yeah, that's the best way to get me is to jump on my website and book a session, book a consultation. All right. Well, Debbie, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I was really, really looking forward to this one because I think that Ness provides one of the most profound ways to improve your energy and your brain function and reverse disease. And that's really my mission in life. My life purpose is to expose people to the ways that they can heal their body outside of the mainstream medical system. And this, this is it for me. You know, you still have to take nutrients and you still have to detox your body. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't do everything, you know, not one protocol does everything, but this is the key to reversing a lot of issues that people have. Yes, I totally agree. I have an uncle who says, honey, we need it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need all things. But yes, it's um, it's definitely a, a a beautiful adjunct to everything else you do, and it's the best way that I know of on the planet for getting your energy fields aligned. And um, yeah, 
keeping balance for sure, for sure. And thank you for what you do, Wendy. I appreciate you in the world and I'm happy for your mission. We need you. Yes. (laughs) Well, thank you for coming on. This is now a fundamental part of my detoxification and healing program.